right everyone I've got a free four speed Sturmy Archer and like yours it may be needing a service so it's clicking into gear but you can feel that it's not snapping and it's sort of wobbling a lot and when you're in the, the final gear, you've got a lot of play. So stripping them down, cleaning, you can sometimes massively improve the shifter. But sometimes you will need to change parts. They can be difficult to get hold of, but they do pop up on eBay uh, every now and again, different parts. So if you wanted to keep your original Sturmy Archer, you know, it's, there's something that you can do. I'll just show you the difference between, uh, this is basically the same, well it is, it's exactly the same shifter. But the condition of this one's a lot better and if i'll show you you can hear that click it's a lot better it's a lot less play as well you can feel it snapping into gear And obviously the look of it as well it's, it's looking a bit tired so we can we can make it look a lot better as well this silver this silver paint it has uh, it has started to come away but we can clear that and just leave leave it looking like a goldy color and try and leave this red paint in this dermy arch lettering I've done it on some of my other ones and it just looks just looks the part. So it'll look like a sort of a gold plate instead of a silver one. So first of all we need to strip it down. Let's have a look inside and see if we can work out what's what needs changing. I've noticed on a few that I've had that you see this little plate, somebody's put like a piece of metal behind the spring to try and try and tension up the spring a little bit. It's not a bad idea putting a piece of metal behind that just to get you by if you wanted to or even behind that part. But these these springs do tend to snap. They've they've got no sort of giving them really. They do just snap. If you try and bend it the opposite way to give you more of a ten more more tension on the spring, it just snaps. I've tried that before. So yeah, we we'll just need to take out these two pins just to start, and um, and, and that's pretty much all you need to do to sort of strip it down so I'll just set up on the vise and show you how I take those two pins out uh, my glove. that was close nothing worse than a bit of cable going in your finger right so to take the pins out you've probably seen on my, my other Sturmy Archie video where I restore it I use a similar setup so this is a five mil um socket basically this is gonna just sit as long as it goes over the pin there it just basically stops this plate creasing when we're taking the pin out and just a i've got a small five uh, hex bit and that's just gonna push the pin out as long as it's thinner 
and the diameter of the pin that will do the job. So if you've not got a vise you could just lean the socket on the floor the bench and then just tap it out with a hammer but with a vise it's a lot neater less likely to do any damage as well so that's how I take the pin out line all that up just make sure it's not kinked Gently Just feel that pop out. There you go. I'll just leave it halfway in for now so I can show you more clearly taking the parts out. And then we're going to take the next pin. There we go. Right, let's have a look. So I'll take those two pins out. And your plate will just come off. And your lever will just pull out from the side. This will have the plate on there. The little, as you see, that's just fell out. It's supposed to be held in there, a bit more secure than that. So when you get them sort of pieces that are just falling out, that's where a lot of your plate is coming from. And just take that off. letters that piece there should clean up nice and just get the get the lever let's have a look so you can just see from the side there the marks where the that clutch will run over time it just just wears it out but that really is not bad at all. I wouldn't say there was enough on that to be causing causing the lack of lack of bite. And then we've got the spring which again doesn't look Doesn't look bad. Just get some pliers just to take that cable out. Right, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to give this a clean and also clean these parts with a wire brush. And let's have a look. Let's see if we can see any, uh, any more detail, any parts that need changing. But by the looks of them, they all look, they don't look enough wear on them really to be causing the problem that we had so i'll just give those a clean up and i'll uh, 
be back on shortly. Right, welcome back. So I've give everything a clean. And to be honest, everything looks pretty good. There was a lot of a lot of dirt inside it on the lever in, in the little notches there. There was a lot of build up. But um not enough for me to to say anything needed replacing really so I'm gonna put it back together and you know see how it runs see how it works Upside down, you'll see it there. There it is. And what we can do is hold it all together with the plate and the pin. Jiggle it a bit. And there we go. So it's going to hold everything in place there. There's no need to press it down yet. So with that, we can now put our lever back in. In she goes. And then basically we need to line up the hole on that lever with this one here. So the white background it's a lot easier to to see uh, lining up in the right place you must have to push up push up on the lever let's try it again so that's where the pin's got to go into See it now. There we go. Just an angle, but it's holding it for now. Just need to wiggle that pin so it's in line. I'm not going to squash the pin together to hold it all just yet because I want to see how it works. If it's sorted it then I will do. 
if the knowledge is coming back apart. So I've just lined up that bottom pin just by wriggling this lever up and down and it's, it's got it in the slot there so now I can give it a tap with the hammer. There we go. I think it looks nice with the gold, gold colour. Obviously, not to everybody's taste. Just give that another tap. So what them pins, what them pins do, obviously, you're going to cramp it all together. And that will have a, an impact uh, on the the shifter sort of wobbling around as well. And it's still the same look. It's still it's not snapping into place. Okay, let's take it back apart and we'll see you shortly. Okay, so I've took it back apart and what I'm going to try first to try and fix this, these pins, there's, there's way too much play in there. They shouldn't be able to just move around freely like that. It's literally just falling out. So I'm going to replace these pins. I don't actually have any new old stock uh, pins and they're really difficult to get hold of. And I think there's probably a bigger hole in the lever to, than original. So that's probably worn as well. So I've just looked through, uh, just thinking what I can use to replace those pins. And I have got an old drill bit. It's a um, five mil. And um, what I've done is I've just shaved off a little tiny amount. So it wouldn't go through the hole. I've just shaved off using the uh, electric sander. Just a little, a little bit of the uh, the edge off it, and it's slotted in with a push. It's not going all the way through, but that's what I want. I want to be able to press it in so I'm going to leave it at that I'm going to cut two sections off this drill bit as replacement pins and uh, we can then try it again um, so let's let's try that first and see how we are with that so I'm just going to cut uh, two sections off with an axle so just give me a second and I'll be straight back. Right. Take two. To this once you've done it a couple of times there's a knack it looks like I'm on a boat at the moment just not the camera my apologies one 
Moving it around. Ouch, finger. Okay, there we go. It's better. It's a lot better. Always better. Right, so that's I'm, I'm happy with that. There's a lot less play in that lever now, similar to this one. You'd always get that little bit at the bottom there because that, that's basically um, because there's no cable in it. Once there's a, a cable in it, it'd be holding it at that point. Because there's no cable in it, it's, it's getting past where it should do so. But uh, I'm just using that as an example when I do that just to show you how loose it is. So now it's the, the spring, as you can see, it's hard to, to see on camera, but I can feel it, it's, it's weak. So you've got two choices really um, to replace that, replace that clutch, or like it was in the beginning, putting something behind it to to sort of tension that that spring. But it is wear on the clutch, which is why it's doing what it's doing. So I've had a look through my spares, and I have got. I've got a clutch with no wear at all. As you can see, it's a square, square piece there. There's doesn't look like there's any wear at all on that one. So I'm going to put that one in and try that. the pins have been out a couple of times they are coming out quite easy now not make any difference maybe slightly oh hang on no that does feel better does feel better to be fair let's go that one step further put that little piece of metal I don't like the idea of that but yeah it has helped even further not far off still not as good as that one but it's not far off right what I'm going to do finally is I'm going to replace this lever altogether because I do want to sell this and I'm not going to sell it with a broken lever so I'm just going to rummage through my spares see if I can find one and I'll be back shortly Okay, your broken one, and a replacement, that's the pin out of the other one which I made, but I did shave a little bit off it, and it's gone through easier now, and I didn't break it, so, let's give it a whirl, It's not bad. I'm not going to actually fix the fix the pins at this point because I am going to 
I'm going to try and get hold of a new spring for this one. But I'll just show you how I do it. So you get yourself a hole punch, something like that, and on the on a solid surface, holding the, the bigger part of the pin on there, and your hole punch there, you just give that one good whack. And what it'll do is just spread the back part uh, of the metal outwards and it'll clamp everything a little bit more secure. And that does help with all the wobbling of the lever as well. But it might help you in, in regards to just getting by, you know, you can improve it massively just by giving it, you know, stripping it, giving it a clean and using some uh, bits of metal to tighten up your spring. And also using a, a drill, 5mm drill to make yourself some new, some new uh, pins. That made probably the most difference, to be honest. Or you could use, even use chain links, but they are going to be thicker. So you will have to sort of sand them down but that's going to be it from me guys hope it's of use and uh, don't forget to subscribe and